Well, hello there, Newberg families. Spring is here, and we're just some of the kindergarten teachers here today welcoming your soon-to-be kindergartner to our schools. Just a reminder, your child must be five before or on September 1st to come to kindergarten. Bienvenidos, familias de Newberg. Estamos aquí unas maestras de kinder en nuestras escuelas aquí en Newburgh y estamos muy emocionados al conocer a sus estudiantes este otoño. Favor de pasar a su escuela y registrar a su hijo o hija en, en kinder para el año que viene. Un recuerdo que su hijo o hija tiene que tener cinco años antes o en el día primero de septiembre. Here are the eight things we want you to know before your child enters kindergarten. Hi, I'm Kaylee Estevez and I am one of the kindergarten teachers here at Ewing Young Elementary School. And some of the things that we want you to think about when you're trying to get your child prepared for kindergarten would be really trying to be intentional with trying to build their stamina and being able to focus on things. So one way you could do that is try to find activities at home that you could do this summer where you can sit down with your child for five to 10 minutes at a time and focus on one thing specific. So maybe you're going to read a story and we're gonna look at the pictures or you're gonna work on writing their name, but really trying to be intentional with having them sit down and think about what are we gonna do in this time frame. Um, some ways that you can kind of help them visualize that is using a visual timer or maybe listening to the length of a song in the background so that they know that at the beginning of the song we're going to sit down at the end they get to finish that. Hi, I'm Mrs. Priap and I'm Mrs. Gill. We are teachers at Mabel Rush Elementary. We're super excited to share with you some ways that you can prepare your child in terms of social skills for kindergarten. So the first thing to prepare your child is to start getting them used to sharing things. So at home, kids a lot of times have their own toys and they're just used to it being their own personal belongings. But when we get to school, we have to share with others and some schools even have shared school supplies. So we share pencils, scissors, and glue sticks and just them getting used to not having quite as much ownership over things and being willing to give things up. And also have your child work with other students about their age, working on things like, how do you ignore somebody when they are doing something you don't like? Or maybe when there's choices and they don't get what they prefer, that's okay, sometimes you get your second choice. And so having them work through that with other students, through play dates, going to the park, things like that. Hi, my name is Mrs. Gray. I'm the kindergarten teacher at Joe and Austin Elementary, and I'm here to talk to you about building your child's independence before heading to kindergarten in the fall. So in kindergarten, part of the learning experience is becoming more independent. So as the year progresses, you'll see your five-year-old, when they become six, being more independent. How you can build upon that is that this summer, you can start building independent tasks for them to do at home. So maybe a little bit more chores, maybe some times where they have to do their things on their own, like buttoning their jackets or zipping their jackets, buttoning their pants, and maybe even tying their shoes. I know that's a very difficult task for some, but maybe buying shoes that have Velcro where they can do it themselves. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bohannon, kindergarten teacher. And there are a lot of things you can do to help prepare your child for reading and specifically reading groups. But a few that are really easy to do and important, reading with your child, lots and lots of reading and talking about it. Just the pictures and what you see and what you remember, singing songs, get out those nursery rhymes. If you don't know them, go get a book. <laughs> Hearing all those, um, the repetitions and the words that rhyme help them to be ready for reading in the, in the classroom. Just having an enriching experience together, spending time talking and doing stuff together at the restaurant, looking at the menu together, you know, finding the signs on the road. All of those things are gonna help give them a ton of experiences so they're ready when they come to school. I am Mrs. Gazer at Crater. Um, one of the things we'd like your student to be able to do is use the bathroom independently. So unzip their own clothes, um, make sure that they are used to the sound of the flushing toilet. It can be kind of loud. Um, and then to be able to clean themselves up, put their clothes back on, wash their hands, and head back to class. Hi, I'm Mrs. Knight. I teach kindergarten at Crater as well. 
Another thing that we would like you to know is what it requires at lunchtime. So lunch is pretty quick. I know at home kids are used to having an extended time to eat. They will get 25 minutes, um, which sounds like enough time. But if your child has to try and open their own packages um, and they're not proficient at it and they have to wait for an adult to come help them, there's only a couple uh, extra adults in the cafeteria, um, it can take a while. If your child's going to receive school lunch or hot lunch, we usually call it, they're going to have to know how to say their first and last name, to select items um, using tongs. Uh, you might even want to review the lunch menu ahead of time so that they're like prepared for what kind of decisions they're going to make. It's a lot for a kindergartner. Um, we're here, and I'm sure this is what happens at all the schools, and we can help kids get through lines. But the quicker they are, the more time they'll have to enjoy their lunch. Um, and then also maybe just remind your child that as fun as it is to talk through their whole lunch, <laughs> they do need to eat their food. <laughs> Hi, my name is Maya Marnes and I teach kindergarten at Edwards Elementary in our dual language program. We're so excited to meet your kindergartners this fall. There's a few things us kindergarten teachers would love for our incoming kindergartners to have as a tool in their tool belt. The ability to have a conversation, reading aloud to your child, and coloring. Um, using those motor skills, fine motor, gross motor skills, learning how to cut, all those are tasks that your student, their success in kindergarten really does depend on exposure to those things. And next time your preschooler wants a device of some sort, how about we read aloud some stories first? Because reading aloud to your children, we know impacts so much their ability to learn and thrive and grow. Conversation, having a conversation with your child, practicing those conversational skills will come into play so much in their kindergarten experience, in their daily experiences in the, in the classroom, with their friends, with their peers, and with their teacher. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jones. I'm one of the kindergarten teachers here at Edwards Elementary. We're super excited to help you get ready to come join kindergarten next year. We have such a good time. Oh, and here are some of my friends from first grade. When the kids get used to the routines in school, it just makes them feel like they're in a really safe place. It makes them feel like no matter what rigorous task you're asking of them next, they have everything they need to do it. They feel emotionally safe, they feel strong, they feel smart. That works in school and we rely on that, but it also works at home to be able to come to school with a mindset that's really ready to be able to succeed in kindergarten. So we love it when families can establish really solid routines at home during school, but also before you even start kindergarten so that it's, it's an easier transition. The biggest routine, of course, is a consistent bedtime that is plenty early to get lots of sleep. Sometimes that's hard to establish, but um, it makes a huge difference to your kids. Regular meals, eating in a certain time, because at school we only have you know, a certain amount of minutes to eat our, our meals. So learning how to do that at home, learning to be responsible at home for your things that you got out and you're gonna put away, just making that part of the family routine, that makes that time at school, that expectation a lot uh, more successful. Muchísimas gracias por tomar este tiempo para ver cómo se ve la escuela cuando viene su hijo o hija a la escuela en kinder. Estamos muy emocionados conocerles pronto. Thanks so much for taking the time to take a peek at this video. We're so excited to meet your kindergartners come fall and see you later. Bye. Knock Nothing. back. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Move. cow. <laughs>